Hey, what's up, boys? Here we go, episode four. You guys saw the last game that we played and the recruiting that we did. We're back to doing more recruiting. So we just sent the game. Don't know if we won a lot of shit, but we did get a new commit. We got Leon Rowe to commit. He is a four-star left tackle. Let's see if we got anybody else. We also got Bernie Venable, left tackle as well, too. We'll probably move him over to right tackle. Since we got the left tackle and the right guard, maybe another position. But you, you can see here, we still got first on this list for Landry. And we just move right here. All right, and let's see what else we got here. We got first on the list for Landry, first for Waitman, first for Isaac, and first, a uh, third for this right receiver that's a five star so what's his deal breaker actually his deal breaker is proximity to home and we are third on the list so salter we definitely want to go check out salter and let's see if we won that game we did not win that game so we lost that game and we got a big game versus clemson coming up so we did still get player of the week for mag defense um, but we actually lost the last game so here's our record real quick let's go look at the team schedule uh, we lost 17-10 to UMass, and so we beat Toledo, we beat uh, Wake Forest, we beat Iowa, and we lost to UMass. We're probably going to lose to Clemson, and then hopefully we'll finish the season off for the 6 month season, maybe a 7 month season, and win a bowl game. So let's go ahead and look at recruit now and see what we got. We did just get two more commits. We definitely want to look at Salter. I didn't know we were top three on Salter's list. Um, so that's definitely something that I want to check out. You can see here at Salto, we just we just offered him, we scouted him, and we offered him, but I haven't put any recruiting points towards him. So he is a 93 speed, and he has mental abilities and physical abilities, road dog, the natural 50-50, sure hands. Um, so Wisconsin is in the lead right now, but I think we can make up some ground, so we're going to try to go ahead and get him. So we can actually schedule a visit since we're in the top three. So we're going to schedule a visit here. And then we actually don't know what he wants, but we should be able to figure it out. So let's go ahead and do proximity to home because we know that's his deal breaker. And then we want to soft sell. We're going to soft sell clutch right here. This one right here. So we'll do that for that. And then we'll also uh, let's can we send the house with us? No, we can't send the house. Let's go ahead and contact family and friends and DM the player. All right, so 55 points to Salter, our first five-star receiver we can possibly get. And let's go look at other prospects. So we got, if you haven't seen it, we got this quarterback, E. Martino, super good. So if we look at his stats here, 98 speed, 93 throw power. We do have our quarterback of the future. Where Hales or Hellas, um, but this guy Martino might be competing for his starting job with 98 speed and 93 throw power. That's just absolutely too good to pass up on. So let's go ahead, see if we got anybody else here. We got Mike Wayne. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit him. Friends and family he is visiting. What well, we can see coming, scholarship offer. We didn't schedule a week yet, so we're going to do a boss day here. We're going to do proximity to home. Uh, family and friends, that's fine. We'll leave that on there. Actually, we're going to take this off and we're going to hard sell something. So let's go ahead and hard sell. Campus lifestyle, proximity home and program tradition. We'll hard sell that. Uh, anybody else? So we got this. We should be first on these guys. Yeah, first right here. First right here. First right here. Also first right here. First. First, and anybody else we can get first right here. Third on Salter, but we're creeping up. First right here. All right, so all these people that were first on, we're going to go ahead and leave them. Now let's go ahead and look at the prospect list and see if there's any five stars that actually slip through the cracks. So we're going to go top prospects, and we're going to look at people with no offers. So let's see who has no offers. It looks like this running back right here out of Florida. He's not a pipeline. But his deal breaker is playing time. We should be able to get him playing time, so we'll add him to the list. Anybody else slip through the crack? There's 277 tight end. 
playing style is his, but he's not a pipeline. Let's see this wide receiver. We'll add him. This free safety. We'll add him playing time. All of these guys are playing time. So I feel comfortable adding these because we should be able to play some people and add them to the list if they are good. So now let's go back to the recruiting board. Let's go to our new prospects here. They have no offers. So recruit with offer scholarship here. Offer one here. Offer one here. And offer one here. And then we can actually even DM. We can search social media for all of them. So let's go ahead and search social media for all of them. Boom. Search social media. Boom. All right. So now all our recruiting points are used up. We do have this game versus Clemson. Um, they're three and zero. We're three and one. I know I can't win this game. Um, but let me see. Let me hop into this game and see if we can compete with Clemson. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So Clemson is a 90 overall. We're a 82 overall. This is not going to be a long game at all. We're playing in Death Valley. They are just too big, too fast, too strong, too much better than we are. We're just looking to get Derrick Hill some snaps, get his feet wet as a freshman in a hostile environment. Can he keep his composure? Can he ball out? So you can see here a thousand passing yards on the season, over a thousand, over seventy-six quarterback rating. And right here we call a play, uh, X dig, and we come out and we see it's open on the right side of the field. So we could run the ball to the right side of the field with our running back, but we decide to actually hike the ball and look at our look at our composure, look at our mentals, look at our physicals. And we just take off with our quarterback, Derrick Hells. So here he goes. Boom. We get nine yards on the first place. So like, All right. Okay. So we're, like, we're doing a little something. And then we come down the right side of the field. It's open again. And we're like, yes, we might have a, we might have some momentum here. We might be going. And then that's just cut off too soon. I think this route is open. And it's not open at all. And plus, I get it in the red. And it's absolutely picked off. And then right here, you're going to see we come back down. We, we complete a pass, and it's looking good for a little bit. It was 7 to 7 to 0 at this point, and we drop back to pass, and we get absolutely obliterated. And right here, I realize they're just too good. All right, so Clemson right, so is just too good. Just... They already had me throw three picks early in the game. We're going to go ahead and simulate the rest. There was absolutely nothing to look at here. We couldn't do nothing with Clemson. And you can see there, they threw for 300 yards, six touchdowns. We had a couple big plays, but at the end of the day, we just threw too many interceptions. So let's look at the stats here real quick. Player stats, NIU, one touchdown and three interceptions. 13 for 26, 139 yards. Absolutely ridiculous. The backup was six for seven for 97 yards and a touchdown. He had a way better game. But yeah, it was just rough for us. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with this week. We knew we were going to lose that game to number one Clemson that we did. It is what it is. And we're going to see if we got any commits. We did get a commit. So we got Shaquem Ferris. We got the right guard. We also got the fullback, Quentin Days. Anybody else? Looks like that's it. So it looks like the wide right receiver hasn't made any moves. So that's pretty good. Middle Brooks, Mad Defensive Player of the Week. And it looks like we're going against Akron next. So let's go ahead and go to recruiting. And let's look at Slater, the wide right receiver. Or Salter, I mean, it looks like we've moved up on Salter's list. Even though he visits uh, Wisconsin week nine, and they got the lead right now. I think we can do something if we just offer him a little bit more. So let's see what else we can do. Uh, we don't have the quite the selling point yet. We know we got proximity to home and plan time. So we're actually going to take this off and take this off. And we're going to hard sell. 
proximity to home and playing time. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Can we get approximate home and playing time? We got plant time right there. Plant time, plant style, proximity to home. I guess we'll do those three. Maybe we'll hard sell that. So that's 60 points. And then we'll add search social media at 65 points for the five star. All right, let's go back to our recruiting board and look what we got. So we got the left tackle, the athlete quarterback, the athlete Martino. We got Venable. We got Ferris. We got Days. We got these guys that want to come to the school. So we can schedule a visit here. So let's schedule them proximity to home. And then we know what he wants. So let's soft sell him on proximity to home. And let's see here. Can we get championship contender proximity to home? There we go. Soft sell him on that. Isaac, the right tackle. Looks like we got another lineman right here. We can schedule a visit finally. So let's schedule them with proximity to home. And then we will soft sell them. And we know exactly what he wants. So we got to get campus lifestyle, academics. So this right here, hometown hero. All right, so now we got 35 more points. Let's look at our new sign-ins right here. See if we're on any of these lists. So we're not on this list, not on this one, not on this one, and not on this one. Who's the best player out of here with the best chance? I guess we'll go, let's do this. Let's go out of action. We will DM the player. We will DM this player. We will DM this player. And we'll take off social media. And we'll DM this player. All right, so we got our actions. I wish we had another home game, but we don't. But we got to be cognizant of that. When it comes to picking your schedule, you definitely want to make sure you get the home games. Um, so right now, Clemson has the number one class with nine star, nine four stars, and two five stars. I don't know where we're at, but we should be pretty high up. And we're number 26. Let's go, boys. Number 26, we have one four star and six three stars on our list. So we'll end it right here. Um, this episode. Um, yeah, so we're good to go. So episode four. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Peace out, my G's.